afternoon ladies and gents. I hope everybody's okay and you're all having a lovely weekend. Um, just coming on to do this very quick card with you. I've used the Year of Cheer designer series paper. All that lovely foiling. Um, I'm using Whisper White cardstock. I've die cut out a group of snowflakes from the seasonal layer and thin thinlets. I've also die cut out some of the Christmas trees from the card front builder thinlets. <laughs> Try saying that when you're drunk. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to show you how to put this card together. Now I need my phone folder which I've not brought in with me, I don't think. Yeah, I have. <laughs> and also some score tape as well. Okay, so I've just took a piece of A4 Whisper White cardstock. Um, I put it on the short end and just cut down the middle. Okay, so you'd end up with two pieces that look like that. <laughs> okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to put that back in your trimmer and you're going to cut it halfway, which is just over five and a half. Okay, and then I just cut my layer to go on top a fraction two eighths of an inch to be exact smaller than my base okay so I'm gonna put this together now and I'm gonna use my score tape because I need to be able to slice a hole in it <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my score tape for speed because I can't be doing with waiting for it to dry and I can't have you hanging on waiting for it to dry so we need something quick <laughs> okay and I'm just going to give that a little burnish before I peel it all off and what I'm going to do is just peel the top off for the minute until I get it lined up on the base of my card because otherwise we'll end up in a whole sticky mess okay now I can take the rest of mine off and it should automatically just line up <laughs> okay <laughs> give that a little burnish now, these pieces, this one measure, measures three and a half by four and a half, and I've just scored it at the four and a half and burnished it. Okay, so this one measures three and five eighths, the DSP, by four. No, by three and seven eighths. Okay, so you're just getting that little tiny border, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to take, I punched out four circles as well. So I'm going to take two of these and glue these together. Just to give it that bit of stability, that's all. And just throw your glue, you know, across your table. <laughs> and then I'm going to stick that between my card and my DSP. Okay, so we're just going to stick it there. So you only need tape on one side of your circle. No. And I'm just going to put two pieces on, so I'm just going to overlap it. I 
I say, you're not going to see this anyway because it's going to be under the DSP. So try and get it as central as you can. Okay, so now we're going to put our DSP on top of that. And I'm going to cut off them bits that have left hanging off the edge. Look, even the sticky strip doesn't like me. <laughs> Oh dear, one day I will find a glue there. One day. Okay, I'm just burnishing that down. And again, I'm only taking one piece off. Like I say, otherwise I'll end up in a whole sticky mess. And I'm just going to try and get that essential as lined up as I can. Do you know? There we go. And again, I'm turning it over and taking the rest of my sticky strip off. Okay, so there's one. So that's our card base and one flap. And we're going to do this one. And the same with this one. We're going to put our sticky strip on our DSP. Because I don't want to put it on this card because we have a border. So that's why I'm putting it on the DSP. Okay. And do you know what I think it is with me? I think I try and rush um, to get things done. <laughs> um, and it just gets me all kerfuffleated, <laughs> if that's even a word. Because I don't like my videos being too long because I know, you know, it's taking up your time sort of thing. Now again, we're going to put our sticky strip on the back of this. And we're going to sandwich it between our DSP and our cardstock. And stick it to your fingers in the process. So that's going to go, we'll try and get it lined up as best we can there. Give this a burnish down. So we can get that back and off. And just take one off again. I get it lined up where I wanted it to be. Just there I'll have to do. And again turn it over and take your other back and tape off. Like I say you'll have <coughs> excuse me, you'll have more time with yours so you can Sort yours out to perfection. <laughs> Wrong way, Mel. You're going to put your other tape, where we made that half inch score mark, you're going to put the tape on the inside of that. And use some non stick scissors to clip it off. And you want stronger adhesive for on the back of this.
Okay. Now, what we're going to have to do is get our card lined up. This is going to wrap around the bottom. Okay. But what's going to happen is we're going to take our bone folder, break down the fibres just by thinking your bone folder. So that's going to wrap around our card at the very bottom and it's going to bow out. Okay, so we want a slit in our base card about there. Okay, so I'm saying about there in our base card. And so I know how deep I need to cut. I'm just bringing in, be very careful when using a knife. Try not to press down on it too much where you break, end up breaking the blade. And would say, be very careful. We're just going to make a slit. Okay, now I can go in there with my scissors and just make that a little bit wider because that slits there. I can just shove them in and make that a little bit wider. All you need is for that to be able to fit in. Okay, and at the minute mine's not so it needs to go. A bit wider than what we've got it. So I'm just clipping off a bit. Okay, we should definitely get it in there now. Come on, there you go. Brute force and ignorance. <laughs> so there's our first. Okay, so that's the first pop-up. So now what we need to do is take our second one and we need to cut a slit in that first one. Um, however, we want our second one to go. So again, just take your bone folder and just give that a bit of a curve. Bearing in mind that this piece is going to get tucked around the back of the card and then you put it over and you see how far over you want it to go. So I'm going to cut my line about there. And again, I'm just coming in with the knife first. Be very, very careful. I can't stress this enough. Okay, I'm putting that away now. So I've got a slit that I can get my scissors in and I'm just going to clip that down the way so that I can slot this one in. Come on, just give it a wiggle. It will eventually go. Because you don't want it too loose whereby it's going to come out all the time. So you judge yourself, you can measure it or whatever. I'm just doing mine for speed, so I'm not taking up all your time. Right, now you're going to take off this back and strip. It doesn't want to come off. Come on, taking the whole flipping strip off. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> it's sad, it's so sad.
okay we're giving up on that as a bad idea I'm just going to go for it with my sticky strip can't be sat here all day <laughs> and I know you can't be either Okay, so this piece is going to wrap around the back. Okay, and you're going to give that a quick burnish because we're stuck on stop at top of our sticky strip. <laughs> okay, and you're going to do the same to this end. Will we be able to get it off? Nope, dripping the card. So if there's any sticky stuff manufacturers out there that need a tester, feel free to get in touch and I'll test your products for you. Okay, so this one, stand your card up so that it lines up and foot bend it over. So what you essentially end up with is a pop-out card that can fill flat for mailing. Okay, and as I say, I just die cutted some Christmas trees. I'm just using wet glue on the back of these for speed. <laughs> and I want them to go on here. Okay, and I've got another one here, just using the wet glue again. Okay, I'm just going to stick this one round to the side. You can embellish yours however you wish. I just wanted to show you the basic construction <laughs> of the card. So I've just grouped a load of snowflakes together here and I'm going to put them on the other side. That's a fun bendy card and what you can do is come in with your clear wink of Stella and just go all over your trees and your snowflakes. As quickly as that, just to give them that little bit of sparkle, glitter. Okay, and on the back you could always put an extra piece of card um, over the back or at the top, even because you don't want to interfere with that mechanism. Um, just some way to write your sentiment. Um, but I hope you give that a go. Again, that is an A4 piece of card cut in half lengthways and then cut in half again. So it will be just over five and a half inches. Um, this tab here is five, 
four, sorry, four and a half by three and a half inches high and it scored a half inch and this one was two and a half by four and a half, that was it, and scored a half an inch um, and then just try and curl them with your bone folder and that's what you should end up with. <clears throat> you do have to make a slit into this wider um, piece of card and also into the back panel of the card. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that's what gives you that curve. So I hope you give that a go. Um, sorry I took up more time than what I should have done. Stupid sticky stuff. <laughs> um, I really do appreciate you stopping by and taking the time to watch my videos. Um, my shop will be linked below if you want to pop along and buy any of the products that I've used. Um, and take care for now and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.